<laughs> Easy is my middle name. Wait, that don't even sound right. Oh, oh! I am so sick of the MTA, the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. So it's now Tuesday and I'm making my lunch for today. I got up a little early to make a Velviva, Velviva, Velvida, Velvita. Get all the letters, Velvita. Yeah, so I'm boiling the water. I think it's about time for me to put it in. I'm tired. I had a three day weekend and I'm still tired. That Does that make sense? And I ain't do nothing. But yeah, I, I'm just not a morning person. But yeah, let me just make this Velveeta real quick. Wednesday, I need to get it together with the vlogging. I'm, I'm, so much be going on, so much be going on. But it's Wednesday, I'm here at work. I had an okay sleep. It's a mess. Turn your own key to your own door in your own house where it's quiet, it's clean, it smells good, everything's how you want it, nothing's out of place, nobody touched it. Getting ready for bed in your own in your own um bathroom, going to sleep in your own bed, and getting up in your own bed, um, getting ready in your own bathroom. It's just there's nothing like more of the story I'm trying to say, there's nothing like home. But yeah, I can't wait to take this ponytail out. As a matter of fact, whew, 
So, so good. Okay, and I got a package, and I don't even know where it's from. Like, I don't even know where it's from. From UPS. I have no idea, I got no notification. So, we about to find out together, because I have no idea. And I'm dying to see. Let me see if I can see before I open it. Nope, I have no idea still. Let's see. What the hell is this? Oh, oh! I thought this was going to take longer to make. Um, depending on what they said online, this is my ring that I ordered, my name ring from Zales. Oh, this is from Zales. Wow. You know, personalized things take longer. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Get no, I didn't get no email, no notification, no nothing from Zales. Come on, Zales. Ooh. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, this is so cute. Oh, it's a perfect fit. It's a perfect fit. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Oh, I love jewelry. Wow, this is so nice. Oh my God, I can't wait to wear it now. So let me give you guys a better look. Oh, this is, why the hell does my hand look so damn oily? <laughs> Cause it's really not though. It's just, it looks so shiny in the camera, but this is the ring. Look at that. Oh my God. But yeah, that's my new ring. I was not expecting it to come this fast. It's, I really love it. So, what am I to do? I'm about to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because I don't feel like cooking dinner. I just want to make something easy. I love PB&Js now. So, let me do that. So while I sit here real quick and eat my peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I just wanted to touch on something that I've been wanting to talk about. And the thing I wanted to touch on was, you know, mental health. And I think when people think of mental health, they think, you know, oh, you have to have anxiety. Oh, you're depressed. This and the third. And mental health is a very broad, I guess you can say, topic. You know, no, I don't have anxiety. You know, well, I don't clinically have anxiety. I'm not, don't have clinical depression, but there are times I have to protect my mental health. I do get stressed out. You know, I do get overwhelmed and I do get sad. I wouldn't say depressed. I think depressed is a very strong word. I would say for myself, I do get sad. There are times I don't want to go outside, don't want to get out of bed, don't want to go to work. But because I got to pay these bills, I got to do it. I got to do what I got to do. And... I don't know, it just, a lot of things go on in my life that people don't know about. You know, I feel like a lot of people don't understand, especially my family. I have to really keep my composure all the time because I have so much things going on. You know, I work a lot, you know, I'm trying to do YouTube, I'm trying to start a business. I took on a second job that I'm about to do. So I travel, I wanna to go to events. Uh, there's so many things I want to do, so many things I am currently doing. It gets really overwhelming to the point where I feel like, oh my God, like my head is about to explode. I'm always tired. I want to get back into working out again. I used to be heavy on working out and I really want to get back into that again, but it's so hard with so many things that I have to do, um, the times I get home. So it's, I'm trying to find a balance while also, you know, protecting my mental health. I don't. I don't want to explode. Sometimes I feel like that. And I don't know. Like like I said, yeah, I don't have anxiety and I don't have depression. But I have times where I feel like that. 
people play a factor in that sometimes. Everything I got going on plays a factor in it. So it can be really hard, really, really hard. It's really hard. You know what's crazy? I don't like to complain. I don't like to complain to anyone, but I don't like to complain even in my head because I always think about there's people in this world going through so much worse that what I'm going through, they would laugh at. So I try not to complain because things could be much worse. There's people in this world going through much worse and I see it all the time. So I try not to complain at all. Living in my shoes, I got to deal with my own problems. But, you know, while I'm dealing with that, I try not to complain because, like I said, there's always someone doing worse than you. Keep that in mind. So let me bust down this PB&J sandwich. Like, I got so much going on that I don't even have time to food shop. Like, I have not been food shopping. Like, I, I'm resorting to eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I really need to go food shopping. And, like, I really want to try Instacart because it would be so much easier. But I don't trust that. So, I need to get myself to the supermarket. But, yeah. I am so sick of the MTA, the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. I swear, after 9 a.m., they cut the service because I wait for the bus. I'm waiting 30 minutes. It's ridiculous. It's 9.19. I'm not leaving this house before 9.30 because I'm, I'd be standing out there for 30 minutes. So you know what? Now I'm leaving at 9.30 because I'm not going to be standing outside waiting for a bus that doesn't come. The bus comes after 9.30, that's the time. That's the time I'm going to go outside. Because I'm tired of waiting out there. And it's just, it's ridiculous. This is, the bus takes forever. And then you get on a train. The train want to act stupid. Like, I already told my supervisor all this. So I get to work when I get to work. <laughs> if I'm late, I'm late. Because it's not my fault. It's not my fault. I really wish I could drive to work. Like, life would be easier if I could drive to work. But I'm not paying those parking, you, you know, garages out there. I'm not doing it. So, I'm going to leave in about eight minutes. Yeah, let's see what time the bus comes today. <laughs> really? Always turn off the light when I do my late freights. Because that light is too damn bright. But yeah, today I'm doing... A late freight over time and I'm gonna just be chilling here for whenever they come in if they come today this company that's supposed to come I don't know if they coming in if they come they come if they don't they don't so over time pay for me whether they come or not and if they do come I hope they leave early Let's go down this chair. oh okay yeah but whatever they just need to do whatever i'm gonna be chilling in here nice and warm in here it's funny it was 62 degrees yesterday now it's like the temperatures is dropping it's like 20 something degrees it's cold now the the weather change is up and down this is how you get sick this is why i keep my coat on like even when it's like 67 degrees outside i still wear my coat Cause I know by the time I leave, it gets cold. For everybody that was in them shorts and them, them hoodies and those t-shirts yesterday, now y'all bundled up now. So. Need some lotion. Trying to make this moolah for this business I'm trying to make. Like. 
I already know how much it's going to cost um, for me to start it. I already calculated everything. You know, now it's just funding it. So this next month <laughs> is grind time because I'm very serious and I'm very motivated to start this company. So, or this business, I should say. So, yeah. So I'm out of work. They finished at nine. <laughs> it's 8.57, so I'm walking to the train now. It's cold, but it's not it's not that bad. My train comes at 9 15, so I'm taking my sweet time. Oh, this is the second time I've gotten Empire State Building in the background. Anywho, yes, yeah, so my train comes at 9 15, so I'm just taking my little sweet time. I still see people out here with like hoodies and stuff like that. Like I know y'all cold. I know y'all cold. It's like, why would you even do that? Especially at night. Like, you gotta always expect nighttime to be cold. Even in the summertime, sometimes nighttime is cold. So... It's 921. It's freezing rain outside. So <laughs> this weather is it's yeah. So yeah, I'm wearing my big coat today because it's really cold. I got my umbrella. Yeah, it was snowing, now it's raining. It's just a mix of both. Wow. Let's see how long the bus takes today. So I'm still waiting for the bus and it is really raining. It's a good thing I carried this big umbrella. But I was gonna carry my small umbrella, but I said, nah, it's really raining. I'm in the car now on my way to the first day of my second job. I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm nervous. I was pissed as hell because I'm like, I gotta wake up early again on my weekend. I gotta have a conversation with them because they told me 4 to 12. These 8 to 4s that they scheduled me two days in a row is, is not hitting. So I'm gonna see what that's about. But yeah, I'm on my way there. break now for my new job got some panda express i've been craving panda express 
So, so far with this new job, I like it. I like it and it's really easy. <laughs> easy is my middle name. Wait, that don't even sound right. Easy. I like easy jobs. Let me just say that. Let me shut up. When I tell you I am sweating, that's an understatement. Like, that was a good uh, hike. It is like, that walking made me hot. But yeah, this is a nice break room. Look at two big TVs. But I ain't using that. I'ma watch YouTube. I ain't even checked to see if there's service down here. I ain't gonna lie, she was a little cheap with the orange chicken. So, so I got the fried rice, I got orange chicken on both sides, and then I got teriyaki chicken. This is what I usually order at Panda. I didn't feel like eating noodles today, but I'm about to bust this down. Oh my God, when I tell you I am exhausted, that is an understatement. Like, I can't believe the day I had. Like, it wouldn't be so bad if I didn't have things to do after work, but let me just say the job, my second job is really easy. I really like it, I like the environment. And you know, after work, I went to go do my hair. I can't believe I made it to the hair salon. I'm not gonna lie, I was, changing my mind all day about going to that salon like i did not feel like it but i know i need to do my hair i need to wash it and after that i went to my mother's house i picked up some mail and then i drove all the way home i'm driven out <laughs> from today and not even to mention when i got to the salon i was spinning the block so many times because i couldn't find parking you know, so until I finally found parking at a meter, I paid, you know, three twenty five for a two hour parking, which is not bad considering, you know, how much a parking garage will cost. I knew at that time it was going to be hard to find parking. You know, I got there at like four thirty. So I'm so exhausted. Like you can see my eyes. I, I don't know if you can tell that they read in this camera, but I'm so tired. I'm not even hungry. I don't even feel like eating. But I know I have to eat, so that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to make a tuna fish sandwich. I'm going to oil up my hair a little bit and take this out real quick. Oh, I'm just going to oil it up a little bit. Oh, I'm going to oil it up, put some oil on it. Ooh. And then put it back in that doobie and put that net back on. Ooh. It's looking crazy. Okay, okay. But yeah, it's my hair. Okay, I'm done for night. I'm poop. Oh my god. Oh, I look, yo, my hair looks crazy. It needs oil. <laughs> so, but yeah, I am so tired. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm going the wrong way. I'm looking to some. I had 
to come in the bathroom real quick to freshen up. Cause I be dry. I gotta make sure I don't got no dry patches. And we don't really wear masks here cause it's like only us. So I had to make sure I had samples these CeraVe samples that I get from the dermatologist come in so clutch put this up here they come in so clutch if I ever feel you know look you know feel dry so if you ever have a dermatologist or you go to a dermatologist appointment take these little samples because they come in clutch okay Now, so now that I don't look like an ashtray, we can start our morning or start our day. Blazer, Lego. So I was just doing rounds. A piece of cake takes about 45 minutes to an hour to do rounds. Not hard at all. I'm about to go back downstairs. Just sit down. Probably take my break. We'll see.